hi guys today we are going to start a new video series on uh, a library management system software making and i would do this as a dbms mini project so i hope this 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 video series that i'm going to be releasing on my channel would help your guys to get a clear idea about how to do it and how to uh, get all the various components working all right so let's get started with the basic explanation okay um, so this is a basic thing that you should be knowing before you make uh, the dbms project okay so the first thing is like you have a user and then you have a front end and a back end all right user is the person who is going to use your software and that certainly is not you that is going to be the person like if it, like here we're going to make a library management system so a potential user would be the students of the library or the library in itself okay so if you're making a hospital management system the user would be you know the management of the hostel like the receptionist or you know people like that they're called as the stakeholders so those are the users and front end is a part of your entire software and back end is the other part of your software so i would say that um, the entire software that we have would be as you know i can consider it as like this so you have the entire software and uh, front end is one part of it and back end is the other part of it so how this uh, whole thing works is that the user sees the front end only the user deals with the front end he sees only the front end and uh, he's got no clue about what's going on in the back end all right and then you have the back end uh, obviously that's going to be the place where your data is stored so let me give you an example now uh, you know there are like a lot of games right so the games when you play the games you have so many parameters in that like you have your score if there is currency in the game you you have the cash in the game like the cash of the thing you you have all of those parameters there so um, those parameters are stored in your back end and what you see like like the game itself is in your front end it can be anything basically back end refers to your database so uh, you would have heard of uh, sql right SQL or database management systems so uh, all all of those things are going to be in your backend and for this mini project I'm going to use uh, a backend called as SQLite or SQLite so this is the backend which we will be using here and we, the front end we are going to use is C sharp I kind of think you know, C sharp is way better and it is more powerful it's easier as well uh, you wouldn't have heard of SQLite quite often because it's not so popular, I guess. Uh, you would have heard of, uh, let's say, MySQL or SQL Plus or you know Oracle's database SQL. Uh, but the problem with those things are like they are a bit more complicated. So connecting it with the front end is not easy, and not only that, it it's it's seriously tedious, and you would really get pissed off at at, at the end. Uh, but SQLite is way more easier and I will be explaining you how to connect the two and how to program on on the on the you know the front and the back so that uh, the entire system can be made so here you can choose C sharp or Java uh, basically if, if you know Java C sharp wouldn't be a problem because this, uh, the syntaxes are almost the same and even the you know the fashion of programming is same both are object oriented so I don't think you would be having any trouble with that anyway I'll be explaining you most of the code as well okay so without further ado I'll just show you uh, the ID which we are going to use it's called the Visual Studio all right okay so okay so uh, before we start with the project okay I want you guys to be uh, having a, uh, a few softwares installed on your system the most important thing is going to be our ID that is uh, Visual Studio 2017 okay uh, some of you would have heard of this some of you would have never heard of this so just for the guys who have no idea what I'm talking about Visual Studio is an IDE IDE means it's an integrated development environment so uh, basically this is something that has got everything that you need to make your front end okay like to make your front end there are like so many things that you need you need the user interface then you need a but some codes then you need some connectivity to the back end almost all of those things are provided to you by visual studio so it, it actually makes your work easier so i do recommend you guys to uh, download it so what you do is you go to visual studios you you just type this on google and i think yeah this is the website okay visualstudio.com slash downloads 
you will just go there so you have different versions here or if even if you go to the home page of visual studio you, you can still come to the downloads uh, this is the home page okay so uh, again here is one thing i want to tell you guys there are three versions here you got community professional and enterprise the version which we want is community because this is absolutely free you yeah, and it, it it is really powerful it it has got a lot of options inside um, as a student when you're learning something this is all that you need it's it's got a lot of things inside so we would go to community version you you just click on this and it'll uh, you know like start downloading it'll ask you for a survey if you want you can give it so you you can see here it has asked me uh, i'm not going to download this because i already have it installed on my system uh, but if you don't know what you have to do is you you would just download it here it will actually install a downloader app it will not install visual studio directly so this downloader app would somewhat you know like look like this uh, it will be like an app like this so you just open that app what you do is see uh, i'll just show you the link to this this is uh, you you just go to google and type how to install visual studio 2017 and this is the first website that comes up and here you have the complete details of it okay so uh, this is the first thing that you have here and then uh, once you continue like once you click continue you will be prompted into this page so this page is where you have to choose the different varieties and options available i would suggest you to just take the basic version because that's pretty much what you will require okay uh, that is this this option here like the first option on the left and you have to click on install here and that will pretty much do everything um, so here i'm going to show you the visual studios installer so once you click on that install button uh, when you download it from the internet this is this is the app that's going to be installed okay so this is not uh, visual studios actual app i have an update so it's coming like this for you it's not going to come like this you're just going to get it like a basic app okay this is how it's going to start up for you guys so just wait it will be loading Okay, so it has loaded so this is basically what you're going to get all right just adjust the window so once you get this what you have to do is see this this will show you about all the versions of visual studio that you have okay so what you need to do is uh, for you i don't think this will be there for me it is there because i have already installed it okay so for you maybe it will be like available it will come visual studio community th there also you should not choose these two because like i told these two are paid versions they are not free and they are meant for the industries for this project what you need is visual studio community so uh, i'll just launch this all right so this is the app this is the real visual studio app okay so let's just recall what we have done we have uh, discussed about what's the basic thing that you need to know about a dbms project or any project for that matter and i have showed you i have i have told you like what's the front end what's the back end i've i've told you how to download the software that we need which is visual studio that's the ide that we need i've told you how to get that ide and also i have showed you how to install that so all of you guys install it as soon as possible all right uh, so in the next video we'll be uh, starting straight away with the project with that with that visual studio ide so you should be having visual studio with you if you want to understand the classes i would recommend you guys to directly start trying out stuff don't wait for me just just start trying out new stuff and try to understand how things work it will really help you out and if you have any doubts all you have to do is just comment below this video so that i can see those doubts and if it uh, i'll try to clarify most of your doubts all right um, so thank you stay tuned let's see you see you in the next video